All right, here we go. 71 GMC short bed pickup, dual headlights. It's hugger orange with flat black on the bottom, silver and white accent stripe between them. Has uh, 18 inch wheels all the way around. This truck was completely rebuilt from ground up. It was a cab off, I guess, restoration is what you'd call it. Um, everything on the truck has been replaced. Everything is new. All the seals, weather seals, window seals, front and back glass is new. The front suspension has been completely redone. Has all new ball joints, bearings, uh, bushings, upper and lower control arms, all powder coated front cross member powder coated all the LED lights all new dual exhaust 3 inch has coated headers on it has a roll pan in the back side marker lights all new door handles all new wing windows are new has power windows in it has a 350 we'll go ahead and open the, open the hood and take a look at the motor in there Get a, talk about that a little bit is front wheel disc brakes it is rear wheel drum 12 bolt posi all the chrome is good on the car has a little ding in the front grill right there we just didn't feel the need to put a whole new grill in it for that little ding it's probably the only flaw in the whole truck has aluminum radiator Four-barrel carburetor. It is a Holly carburetor. Edelbrock manifold. It is a ZZ3 or ZZ4, excuse me, ZZ4 motor. Uh, There's aluminum heads. It's about 300 and I think Chevrolet says 350 horse somewhere in there. Uh, it's got a new distributor in it. It's an MSD distributor, HEI. This truck has vintage air. It was installed real nice. Works good, blows cold. The truck was originally a factory air truck. I just didn't like that big suitcase there, so pulled that off and went the vintage air route. It's all detailed in here. It's nice and clean. Nothing special. It's not a show truck. Not claiming it is. Uh, it is a 700R transmission, so it has the overdrive. Just nice and clean. Be cool radio. And it does have aluminum B cool radiator. Truck runs nice. We're in Las Vegas, and the truck is from Vegas, so it's rust free. But uh, the truck runs really nice in the summertime with the air conditioning on. Blows nice and cold, doesn't overheat. Hood opens and closes real good and real easy. Shut the hood here. Notice when I shut the hood. It goes into the location, don't have to push down on it. The hinges are nice and good, and no issues there. Tires are, are approximately 500 miles on them. Everything opens and closes. The doors all do their job, do it really nice. Again, it has power windows in it, factory door panels. Door panels are not from this truck. They're a little newer model. The seat is not from this truck. It is a power. Not that you need it, but it's 60-40 split bench out of a later model Chevrolet pickup. Been reupholstered. Has some ostrich simulated leather, I guess is what you'd call it. Looks very nice. Tilt wheel. Lots of billet accessories. The steering wheel. The shift lever. All the other levers. Has a little stereo system in it. As you can see, the kick panels down there have, have the speakers in them got cool little floor mats in it so you Chevrolet heartbeat of Chevrolet North America there's your kick panels carpets nice it's all new the AC the, the dash has never been cut in this car uh, when you pull that radio out all the original holes are there that stereo unit was bought for that specific reason it's a retro sound I think is the brand name of it the AC controls are from the factory panel there Everything works. All the lights work. The dome light works. Has a billet cover on the glove box. The dash pad is new. The entire cluster in the instrument panel has been rebuilt. 
You can see the headliner is all painted. Everything's painted nice to match. Has sliding rear window. That's the original factory sliding rear window. The fuel tank has been removed from the back. Got a lot of rags in there to wipe it and clean it. Uh, and, and put into the rear. It's underneath the rear bed. Pretty common. You can buy them. Factory. They're not factory, but uh, it's aluminum. Go back under there and look at it. It's aluminum tank. Fits in between the frame rails nice and tight. The exhaust is close to it, but clears it. Fuel center unit works. So the fuel gauge works properly. Tailgate opens and closes nice. It's got a little bit of a, I don't know what you'd call the paint, but it's uh, almost like a, like a trunk spray paint, but it's black. It's not a bed liner type. It's not near as thick as that. The stereo in this car, there's the amplifier underneath the seat. Kind of hard to see it, but it's there. And behind the seat is a little base box with a woofer in it. It's not too terribly loud, but yet it still has a little bit of pop to it. Better than just a stock stereo. Again, doors open and close real nice. The windows go all up and down. I'll show you that here in a minute. Pretty much the outside of it. Nice, clean, started with a straight truck. No, no rust. Teeny little bit at the bottom of the door, but beyond that, just it was like a surface deal. Okay, we'll go to fire the truck up now, so you get an idea. It's a cold start, and usually this truck has electric choke, so it'll fire on the first click usually. Fired right up. Run that window up and down there for me. Get the well pressure. Oil pressure's up. Doesn't have a, a number on it. Just the fact the oil pressure gauge. Battery works. Temperature's cold. Everything there works. Power windows going up and down. It's all work. Right. Passenger side. Windows are tinted. over here pulling out of the driveway and just so you can see what it looks like going down the road. It's a pretty cool looking truck. Here it comes back up down the road, just so you can see what it sounds like as it's coming. All right, now we'll hop in it and do a dual drive around with it. Do a little power shot real quick for you. Sounds good and lays down some rubber. Go. All right, we'll go for a quick little drive. 
survive. truck.